Hello, Maddie from Hello Interloper here. It is time for part three of my little Dawn of the Dragons walkthrough slash tutorial, or whatever you want to call it. And today I'll be talking about something that I've mentioned in the past two videos, but did not explain just yet. I'm going to be talking about legions. Now, uh, the reason why I didn't explain legions earlier is just because there really was no point. Legions, though they will help you in your journey, and they get progressively more important, they aren't important in the first 11, 12, whatever levels of the game, so now is the time for me to finally explain it, especially because you'll start be um, start getting troops from tagging all of these uh, public raids here. So uh, right now I got 30 stamina, and I'm going to show you a little something. I'm going to tag a few of these, and you can see my damage. 736, that was probably altered by... Uh, some magic, 694, you know, um, getting a feel for how much damage I'm doing. Okay, that's already been dispatched. Do do do, 589, okay, so we're seeing our general range here. It's not too high, and um, of course my attack is a little bit more than before because I did get some nice drops from tagging. I got a uh, new headpiece and new boots, so my attack and defense are much higher now, and note that I did not add any stat points. This is all because of my armor. And uh, I've been working towards my stamina, so now I have 30 max stamina, kind of getting it uh, more even. I have two more energy than I do stamina. So now that i got a feel of how much damage I do, it is time to go to legions and see if we can bump that up a little. So, uh, press the Legion button, and they're talking about, okay, it's an important part. Yes, we know that. Here is our Legion. Right now, I could put in one general and two troops. What is that, you may ask? Well, we'll find out soon enough. I'm going to press Equip first, and click Info. And, of course, a little description. It's called March, and I will click Assign. Okay, so this seems pretty confusing, but basically what we're doing is we're setting up a little part of our damage output, and it depends on generals and troops, which are items in the game. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what on earth is this? How will this affect my attack? Well, this, atta this affects your attack when it comes to raids, how much damage you do, and sometimes it also increases your defense, and basically just makes you stronger when you face raids. Now, there are some generals that have uh, things that boost your energy, your stamina, some boost your raid damage, some do all these different effects. But right now we have some pretty basic things. Uh, we got, let's see, let's click some troops. Oh, we don't have any. Well, that means that we should probably buy some. But first things first, um, let's see if we have a commander. We have Roland, and uh, Roland we got from the quest. Uh, if you're not this far yet and don't have Roland, you probably should get on that because you do need a commander. Uh, the commanders are very important, as are the generals and the troops. It's all pretty important, but if you have a commander, you can equip him. So basically, uh, you can increase your effects a little more. Now, increases player's attack and defense, chance for bonus damage if plundered dungeon sign is owned. You don't have to worry about that second part yet. You won't get that until very far in the game. And uh, so I'm going to assign him as my commander. And I'm going to equip him with basically all the best things that I have at the moment. Because uh, right now there's nothing else I can really do. But the whole point is... you Wait, I'm pressing helm and it's giving me offhand. I don't know why on earth is doing that. Don't mind that. It shouldn't happen. But the whole point is I want to equip anything that has an effect. Otherwise, I just equip whatever I want. Because the attack and defense actually does not matter. What matters is the effects that these items have. So none of these actually have effects, so I'm just going to equip whatever right now. It doesn't matter. I don't have a ring. Now, the mount does matter, definitely, because it's a special C info. That will be added to you. So I will have an extra two defense by adding this to my Legion commander. Now, why on earth won't this work? Uh, usually, this does not happen. I don't know what on earth is going on here. Urgh! Whatever. 
It's probably just a blue stacks problem. But I'm going to save. And as you can see, my damage for my Legion is now 42. And um, I'm going to now go out of here. Let me try one more time. Yeah, that's not working. I have no idea why. You should be able to equip a helm. If you have a helm, that is. So, uh, okay. So I have this equipped. So that means my damage is 42 for my Legion. And let's see if I tag something. Will my damage be a little increased? 963. Let's tag something else. Okay. Tain Nervous has been dispatched. Do, 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 do. 941. We're seeing a slight increase. Now... The reason behind that is because it's you, the legion power, the attack, the defense, all these things calculate how much damage you do to a raid. There is an exact formula, but we're not really going to worry ourselves too much with that. That's for more advanced players. Basically what you want to know is you want to get the highest legion power possible and get your attack and defense as high as possible through armor for now. You don't exactly have to worry about uh, adding stat points until you can maintain an LSI of 7 and of course right now we're still noobs so our LSI is higher than 7 it will not go higher than 7 once we get later on in the game so let's buy ourselves some troops shall we because our legion is kind of lacking and uh, you might have some troops uh, but you know because I don't know how much you've tagged how much you've looted but let's just say that you haven't so in the bazaar Go to the home, the store, the services. Basically, this is all paid stuff. Uh, you could pay through planet coins. Don't spend your planet coins yet because you want to spend your planet coins on something else. And I will make a video when that so-called something else appears. But uh, for now, I'm going to go to the store. And once again, don't buy these items. You can get items that are way better for free later in the game. Do not spend planet coins, whatever you do. So, uh... Let's see, 500 gold, you can buy that, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, let me click this so I can see how much I have. So I got a lot, so uh, if I wanted to, I could buy some of this stuff. But uh, I don't feel like it right now. I want to get myself some troops. So I'm going to go to raid. And, oh, look at that. I can buy a general. I will buy this general. Yes, Ruth the Miser. She doesn't have an effect that uh, is that great. It just reduces bank deposit fee, which you don't really have to worry about just yet. But I'm going to buy. And so now I have her. And I'm going to go to troops. Farmhands. Spear seekers. Don't buy that. Templars. Don't buy that. Town guards. That's the best one we have right now. We have two slots, so I'm going to buy two of these. If you do have um, troops, you don't have to buy them. But I'm erring on the side of caution and saying you don't. Okay, so I have now two town guards, and I got a brand new uh, general. So I'm going to go now to home. I'm going to click on me. I'm going to go to allegiance, info, sign. And I'm going to go to generals. Add Ruth, the miser. And you can see, already my damage went up just by doing that. And then I'm going to add my troops. And there's town guard, one more town guard. And as you progress through the game, every time that you complete a quest area, and when I say quest area, I don't mean one of these little ones. I mean the whole area. Right now we're in Burden's Rest. Uh, before, started in the fields, which uh, I showed you throughout the video. And then I'm progressing right now through the second part, which is Burden, uh, sorry, Town Square. Then there's one other part unlocked. Once I finish that whole part, I have completed the whole area and new things will appear in the bazaar. Although there is a certain uh, level that past that you will not see anything new in the bazaar. But that's pretty far away. So uh, you will be able to get new legions, new generals, new troops, buying them for coin. Coin is pretty important. So uh, let's quickly go to legions, see if there are any available at the moment. There's shield wall, which... You could do two generals, which doesn't include commander. Every uh, legion has a commander slot. You don't have to worry about that. I could buy that right now. So, uh, why the heck not? Let's make this a little more fun, shall we? Increase our legion damage by a lot. So I bought the new legion. 
I'm going to go back to troops. I'm going to buy more town guards. More town guards. More fun. Uh, I'm going to just buy ten. Why the heck not? Even though like I don't have that many slots, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to keep pressing again and again. Buy it all at once instead. So, you can see here, March is any, any. Now, tanks, there are certain classifications for uh, generals here. If I go here to the old March, you can see what they are. Ruth is human special special. And uh, that's race, uh, that's like roll and whatnot. Roland is a human, he's tank, and he's strength based. And really, these don't actually matter for anything except when filling up a slot in a legion. It's not like tanks will have more of this and strength will have more of that, or doesn't work against certain raids. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. So, anyway, uh, let's fill in Shield Wall, shall we? I equipped it by accident, but you can equip it either way. And um, so I'm going to put Roland in the general slot, because Ruth can't go there, and I'll put Ruth for the commander, so I could fit both of them in there. So I have raw damage of 66. Uh, let's put all these town guards in. Okay, that's going to take a while, so I'm just going to click Assign, and it'll do the best thing it can do. And, oh, <laughs> by assigning, I got that helm slot in. I don't know why that's broken on blue stacks, but either way, look at that, 244. So let's compare and contrast, shall we? I have that, and I have that. I went from 105 to 244. So having new legions definitely means a lot. And now, the final test, let's see how much I can hit for. So, oh, she's already dead. So I'm just going to tag these. Ah, oh, these have all been killed already. I should uh, probably... You know what? I'm going to refresh this, because some of these are already dead. There we go. Okay, let's tag. I've already tagged these, but I'm going to tag them again. Ooh, would you look at that? Uh, there was a proc, though, which means that uh, one of the magics worked. But just in general, you can see my damage has gone really high since I even bothered with legions. Legions are important. Definitely important. So, definitely want to keep your legions active. You know, if you get new uh, troops, put in new troops. Um, buy new legions as they become available in the bazaar. And uh, that's about all you really have to know. So, keep doing whatever you're doing. Tagging and, uh, you know, equipping new things. Set up your legions so you'll do a good amount of damage. And uh, eventually you will be able to start trying for higher tiers of things. Remember uh, good old Horgrak? Well, you can check his loot, hopefully one day get an epic tier, once you get uh, more damage done. But for now, keep tagging and using up all of your bars. All of them. Do not neglect any of them. And uh, in our next video, I'm thinking we're going to cover PvP. How does that sound, everybody? Until next time, have lots of fun.